Hi ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to my live stream 10 and uh, I haven't been doing my live stream for a long time but now I'm, I hope that I can do a, a really quick one. Uh, today I'm going to updating the uh, lesson on critical practice in adult education. First of all, I'd like to um, uh, introduce you my channel. What is it about? So. Actually, if those of you know what do you mean by adult education, adult education has many interesting topics and I call the topics as ingredients. So, the many matters and sometimes uh, we are not paying attention to uh, actually so critical uh, if we really pay attention to the meaning of the um, ingredients um, and in other words, the topics of the adult education. So what are the ingredients of the topics of adult education? So here are examples. For example, the, um, what, about, uh, what I'm going to talk about is uh, to the, uh, one of the um, ingredients is critical practice in adult education and also other ingredients. There are so many of them. So I just list a few. So sometimes we can have like counseling um, the adult learners. This is one of the ingredients as well. And negotiation in um, no matters politically or in adult education classroom. These are all ingredients of adult education and um, types of instructional materials etc etc so adult education actually is a very advanced topic it comprises of um, ranging everything uh, met, all the matters ranging from the society the organization and even personal life okay now these ingredients are so important although they seem to be uh, not important at all um, there are so many things in life that seems to be easy and yet Sorry, it's noise from the sky. The airplane just fly through. I'm doing it the outside the, in the garden. So, so they certainly very deep meaning if you really pay attention to the individual meanings of the uh, adult education ingredients. So sometimes if you're just missing the ingredients, here I'm talking about adult education, of course, uh, could be critical to your business, your organization, and perhaps your own self as well. So for those who do not understand adult education, uh, adult education actually comprises very wide, as I said before, uh, which I called, of course, uh, I repeat again, ingredients. So, for example, there are some more other examples like uh, leadership strategies, uh, mentoring. Um, there's topics ranging from so many, uh, for example, the instructional um, materials, what are the instructional materials used to teach adults, and also uh, all the topics, in fact, are uh, part of adult education which range in, as I say, organization to your uh, classroom and also for yourself as well. So today I'm going to focus on, um, as I say, critical practice in adult education. So what do you mean by critical um, practice in adult education? So today the research is actually I'm focusing on uh, Sinclair and Sandling in 2004. If you want more information, actually you can find some of my videos from my previous one uh, about critical practice you can find somewhere in the videos group so find under critical practice if you if you want more information today i just do a quick live today on this topic so i find the interesting title on the um, promoting critical practice in adult education so inside the uh, book uh, of uh, sinclair and sending uh, a statement say uh, which catches my eye it says classroom education provides us with a glimpse of how the real world gives okay and how the real world goes i mean so we cultivate and nurture our children in this way so as to produce citizens of passivity conformity productivity and competition so democracy has come to mean having the freedom to choose from a wide variety of uh, freedom um, for, uh, for, uh, for example, wide variety of groups like global pedagogy incorporates a more critical role at the way and means of consuming and a uh, um, stronger development of community and civic rights. So in moving towards, <coughs> excuse me, towards a postmodern pedagogy, <coughs> we must bring with um, quality the ideological context of the 
adult education classroom by questioning, uh, critiquing, and sometimes reject the social uh, positions of teacher and student. Okay, bear in mind if your students have some questioning and if they are um, uh, sort of like um, they want to find more answer to the mysteries or problems, it is the same as adopting the critical pedagogy in the educational setting. So when the individual began to have queries about the issues, problems or the objects, bear in mind it is a very positive sign towards learning. Okay, a, a positive sign towards learning. And um, I also want to emphasize that the, um, the teaching for a post-modern uh, perspective, what does it mean? So in moving towards a postmodern pedagogy, we must bring into the clarity the ideological context of the adult education classroom by questioning, as I said before, you critiquing and sometimes reject the social positions of leader and student. Not necessary that you have you have to agree and be passive about everything that, that the uh, authority uh, authority figures say you can have the freedom to reject it or to question it and to critique the um, uh, uh, the, the contents uh, that the um, authority figures uh, present out to you. Okay, we have the right in the freedom in the society. So to accomplish this, uh, we might first surprise ourselves out of such social situations. So we would open the adult education classroom to the uh, many perspectives of the uh, leaders who engage in it, because without diverse conversations, this is very important. So without the diverse conversation about the nature of particular phenomena, we cannot hope to understand the real phenomena. This is very important. So we will stop um, criticizing about an independent, unified learning self and instead acknowledge our multiple selves that one constantly in flux, which um, whole, you know, uh, contingent and uh, conflicting um, understandings of the adult education classroom. So we will seek to challenging cons uh, the construct out of this tentative and contingent, always becoming a, uh, a center for interpretations, important knowledge that is personally empowering and socially transferring. So instead of um, keeping everything to yourself, you can critic uh, critic about your disagreement or your doubts about certain things and instead of putting it what it means is putting it in, into yourself and it is not going to empower yourself so using the um, the notion of critical pro uh, critical process it is really helpful to uh, empower yourself and empower the group and it will uh, help you also um, be a, a social transforming person which is very uh, useful for the society as the research say so we need to keep uh, reinventing the spirit of critic so but how how do you invent the spirit of critic so according to Sinclair and uh, Sandling it say you need to commit to critic and also push for change and challenge the power structure between the teachers and students in, in other words the institutions and the humans so we need to develop critical awareness instead of um, focusing uh, on ironing the complexity or problematizing to social problems or issues. So we need to be open to critique, be open to have any um, critique uh, things, uh, matters within ourselves, opening up, uh, which, also, which is also help to reduce the problems and issues of the society, uh, I mean, society issues and problems as well, okay? So questions are rising in our minds unconsciously when we watch movies, right? Okay, this is an example. So these are the critical um, practices that are making us to question ourselves, to question and want, we want to find more about the answer. So to the mysteries of problems, right? It's very hap uh, always happen to us when we watch movies or we want to search for certain answers. We always um, want to find more answer to the mysterious of problems. But sometimes we we have that feeling unconsciously. Actually, uh, this kind of unconscious feeling of um, 
knowing why is very important so we have to pay attention to a little meaning it may be a very deep meaning to the uh, for the whole society and maybe for your organization or your personal self so sometimes problem or issues or uh, topics may seem to be easy but actually it has a very deep meaning and quite complex okay so as i said already it is very uh, positive if your students are open to uh, ask questions and about the issues or problems or the objects and this is a, a positive sign as i said before and uh, that's all for me today i i have a uh, many videos my previous videos about this topic and if you want to more, know more uh, about it you can research on the critical practice in adult education and as you listen you will know more you will understand more and i'll keep you up to date to many ingredients uh, that i'm going to hoping to bring to you in the future and hope you stay um, in tune and also um, thank you for your participating uh, for the live stream today and until next time and see you and take care goodbye